What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffalus, and today we are not on YouTube. We're on twitch.tv forward slash DSTAR01. That's right, we will be doing this until we get our YouTube channel back, and we're going to continue to be doing this. Um, in fact, we're going to be doing this, and then we're going to take the footage and then put it on YouTube after some editing. So this is going to be the first come, first serve type deal when it comes to these Twitch um, streams. This is my first live stream ever, actually, now that I think about it. So anyway, let's just get right into it. This is the Figma Mako Mankanshu. Let's take her off the very loud turnstile, as Ron was saying. Pretty psyched about this. I love this anime. Mako says, let's get naked, so let's get naked right now by unboxing this figure. Pretty psyched about this one. You can get this at well, I guess I can't really put that up yet because I forgot to put the anime. Anyway, you can get this at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. You can go down there in the Twitch uh, box there, and you can go visit my website or web store, and you can pick this girl up. Pretty psyched about this one. She looks pretty basic, I'm not going to lie. Um, she's missing a lot of stuff, like... A lot of the times in the anime, she's gonna be like doing stuff like that, as you saw in the video clip. And she could come with a lot of props, but instead we don't get those props, unfortunately. But first and foremost, we're gonna look at the base figure. And we're gonna look at this right here. We're gonna zoom right in there. We're gonna look at those beautiful anime eyes and that wonderful hair. Absolutely love how Figma does uh, anime females. I think they're the best. They cannot be topped. They have a really good formula when it comes to it. They look like they jump right out of the anime. As you can see right here, Mako Mankanshok looks absolutely gorgeous in her classic schoolgirl uniform. The blue is a baby blue. Uh, the white looks really good. Um, there's nothing really wrong. I can't really see anything bad when it comes to the paint apps. This is something that you should expect from a non-bootleg action figure. You should be expecting uh, quality a solid sorry solid quality when it comes to paint apps and overall design so that is it when it comes to paint in detail i think that looks really good you know what we're just going to do this since there's barely anyone in the chat that's okay there you go there's the panty shot right there we're just going to do that you know sure why not there's her panties right there and if you haven't seen the anime you will be seeing her panties a lot so <laughs> that's not the only time you'll be seeing her underwear <laughs> So anyway, that's it when it comes to paint detail. Absolutely love the way this action figure looks. And uh, so let's look at articulation and scale. So we're going to push everything aside. And for those who can see on the top cam, you can see her there. Isn't that cool? We have two camera views all at once. Something that I didn't do on YouTube. Well, anyway, let us see how tall she's standing. She's standing at about five inches exactly. So she's not that tall. Most anime females are actually quite short to my surprise. Of course, we have other Kill La Kill action figures from Figma. We have Kiri Yuin right here. As you can see, she towers over her as she should. Boobs right there. If you guys love fan service, you got to watch Kill La Kill. And of course, her best friend, partner, Janelle, partner, friend, Janelle. Is that is that her partner or friend? I, we're just gonna call her partner for now because I believe. Okay, they're friends. So this is a uh, Ryuko Matoi. As you can see, these two work really well together, as they should, honestly, because you know they're best friends in the anime. In the end, it's questionable whether they're more than friends. So uh, yeah. Anyway, as they trigger, it's Goku right here. Also comparing, if you're looking at anime, there's anime figures to mix and match. It looks like they seem to be working. We have a model of Mega Man X there. Uh, that seems to be working really well. And of course, we have my absolute favorite action figure. It is the Bring Arts Cloud, who towers over her. My goodness, this is not to scale at all. So if you're looking for also Marvel Legends, which I don't have right now at the moment, it, they will not scale with her at all, period. 
Uh, no, we do not have any My Hero Academia figures at this point. No, we do not have anything. Uh, so that's it when it comes to comparing and scale. Let's talk about articulation. Pretty standard stuff for all Figmas. We have an up and down here at the toe. We have an up and down here at the ankle. We got a bend at the knee. Of course, we're going back to the panty shot. Of course, we have this double joint here, which uh, rotates, and there's a ball joint right there at the crotch. All Figmas have a... Uh, swivel at the waist and that's it there's not one on her lower breasts so it keeps her form as it should and we have a what's this ball joint here at the shoulder right here of course we can rotate that because it is a peg let's see oh we also have a bicep swivel which is hidden right here something that a lot of them don't do is they do a bicep swivel figmas don't usually include a bicep swivel but they took the advantage right here because it's hidden under the shirt right there so you can get that going we have Ben here at the elbow, and of course we have that ball joint right there at the wrist, and we have the one at the neck looking to be a little bit under 20 points of articulation, but you can still get her to do all her favorite poses. Of course, let's see if she can grab her boobies here, because that's what she does in the anime. Ah, oh, yeah, right there. So there she is grabbing her boobies right there. And because we're on Twitch, this is 100% allowed. <laughs> If YouTube, yeah, we would be demonetized when on Twitch. You can show your, your cleavage all you want. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the upper cam right here. Unless you want to look at the bottom of the box. We're going to go into accessories. Like I said before, we don't really get much in terms of accessories, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, they missed a lot of opportunities here to include like some awesome costumes and whatnot. But anyway, let's look at the first face right here. We get her like little let's zoom in right there. We get like her, like, this is not supposed to be her tongue. Actually, what this was supposed to be for is for this. It's like a bubble. Huh. It's for an, oh, it's for her nose. <laughs> Thank you, Janelle, moderating for us. So we do get something that looks like that. That looks really cool right there. Um, so let's check this out right here. Janelle's laughing. Ron, I know what you're doing. So anyway, we got this right here. So let's put this on. Okay, looks like we're going to have to put this like that. So there you have it. You can have a sleepy face Makoman Kanshok right there. That looks really nice. And let's move on to other face swaps. And we get a crying face right here. She can cry. Really cool. That, that's her crying right there. That's really cute. Okay, let's move on to others. Of course, we have to have a yelling face right there. That's when she's yelling. <laughs> Take full advantage of being on Twitch. That's right. We can show anime action figure boobies all we want. Wait, do you see no. Wait, I can see his comments. Yeah, in the lower right-hand corner. Yeah, I can totally see it. <laughs> you see what you want to the no, I will not do that. <laughs> nice try, Ron. Uh, so it looks like we also get... Um, I'm going to need help in chat right here. So we can pull that out. It looks like we get a second... Why do we get a second? Oh, okay. That's weird. Look at this. So... Oh. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, I guess we're going to have to look at the manual for that one. I, I guess? Like, why? I mean, I mean, I can't notice it. I guess when she's crying, we can go something like this. When You remember, like, when she's doing... Oh, okay, so that's what it's for. So it's used so you can have her launch, like, a missile. You can see. So that, that uh, void right there, you can push her head back like so. And so she can look like she's flying, you know, flying. or crying really hard, like, poof, like a missile right there. That looks really cool. Okay. So that's what that's for. And of course you get her dog in pajamas and he has an articulated head. And I think that is it. Let's look at that real cool. Yeah. That's really cute right there. Uh, okay. So I believe she comes with a few more things here. Um, I saw in the box, besides all the cool stuff, she comes with a flag? I guess not, so we get the stand. 
the extra hands which we will actually be looking at because we you know this isn't a <laughs> this isn't a video this is live um let's see here so the question i had was there's this flag right here the bunny flag we don't no what the heck ah, i'm offended yeah, we, according to the manual, it does not look like we will be getting a bunny flag. Yeah, that's quite deceiving. Oh, man, that's... Okay, I get... No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so look at this. Added accessories right in the box. So you're gonna, you're gonna have to pay attention. So you don't get an actual cloth flag. It looks like it's just cardboard. And I believe I read on Figma's site what it, this translates to is um, you need your own stick. So you don't get a stick to put this on, unfortunately. But what I love the most is you get the uh, the face mask stuff. That's pretty cool. But you're going to have to cut this out. Yeah, this is not perforated. So you're going to have to cut it out very carefully. Oh, man. You know, I was really hoping you would get like plastic inserts. Instead, you got to make do with what you got, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, they're making you work. So since we are, um, since we are here, live streaming, we might as well look at other stuff here. So let's get a peace sign going. Let's get the crying head off off of here, and let's get the yelling face. You always gotta go with yelling face because Mako seems like she yells a lot, right? Right, hun. Even when she's happy, she's just yelling a lot. Okay, so it looks like we got to remove this peg right here. That's an extremely tight peg. Oh, man. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so a croquette or something. It seems like Figma has just been like charging a lot for these figures. By the way, this figure is about 65 bucks, so it's pretty expensive. So you really have to be a fan of Kill a Kill to enjoy uh, something like this. Which is so weird. Uh, before I continue with looking at the hands and stuff like that, this figure was released like four years ago. As well as Ryoko. And they finally released this figure like now. Like why did they wait so long? They could have just released this when Kill a Kill was new and exciting and instead they really they, they waited so long i don't know why they did that anyway there we have it we have a peace sign there that looks really cool uh we got to have that pointing finger why not let's just get that pointing finger going yeah it does and oops wrong hand they have it that is her pointing <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, very cute. Uh, and of course, we got a fist. So she can punch people. And there you have it. There you have it. She's like, yeah, power. Okay, so I guess that is really it. We got to put stand her next to her best friend in the world. You go. See if we can get these two to stand together. And they have it. That looks pretty cool, I'd have to say. I'm sure why not. They all become friends anyway. Uh oh, is that a spoiler? Yeah, that was a spoiler. <laughs> Oops. This is live. I can spoil whatever I want. So there you go. Those those are those three. Right there. And that looks really cute. Um, sure why not? Because this is Twitch, let's zoom in into some boobies. Sure, why not? These figures were designed and drawn that way, okay? Anyway, let's come up with a conclusion. Would I get this figure if I wasn't a fan of Kill a Kill? No. 65 to $70 is what this figure is going for on dstartoys.com, but you can use the code down below to get 10% off that. Uh, if you just like to collect anime figures, this is a pretty plain action figure. I know I haven't really said anything super bad about it until now. 
But if you love Kill a Kill, which I do, Janelle and I absolutely love this anime. Then this figure is a must, especially if you have Ryuko. Um, I know she's getting a re-release as well as Kiryuin. I believe Figma said they are re-releasing these figures. I don't know. I guess the fifth anniversary is coming up, so it makes a lot of sense why they would release it. So that's that. I think she's worth it because I love Kill a Kill. I absolutely love that anime. It's worth the watch. Definitely worth it. And I guess we're going to end this live stream with a yes, buy this if you love Kill a Kill, and a no if you just like collecting figures and you don't have no idea what this figure is, then maybe not. So that is my take on it. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01, where we live stream toy reviews. In fact, I'm starting to believe I'm the first action figure toy reviewer here. I think so. Someone correct me. Ron, am I? I think I am. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I guess we're going to go on into comments. I'll answer all your questions to anyone that's in chat besides you, Ron. I see you like talk to you like every day. Hey anyway, guys, I'll, ch I'll talk to you later. But we'll get to questions. Yeah.